So here's our mask so far. We've just turned it right side out. Here's my opening that I turned it through. And we're just going to give it a good press, making sure that the seams on the sides are open. Okay. And now we need to pleat it. So you want three pleats along each of the sides. I fold my first one until it's about three quarters of an inch from the top. And then just kind of hold that in place with my middle finger as I grab another pleat with my thumb. When I have three pleats that are at least somewhat even, I just hold them in place while I iron. and give them a good steam to press them in place. And that's what we have. Now, even though I'm technically going to be edge stitching this and could use that 10D foot again, I've actually found I like the clear foot better since the edges are sometimes not as evenly lined up as they seem to be now. It just is, has been easier to, it gives me a little more wiggle room if I just use the, the regular foot. So I'm going to start in one corner and come down over all the pleats and about an eighth of an inch from the edge and stop at the next corner. Again, stopping about an eighth of an inch before the corner, and I make my turn, and then I will come down the straight edge. Stopping again at the corner and turning. Now I'm going to make sure that all my pleats are back nestled together. And I'm coming against the pleats in this stretch but I'm going to stop periodically to kind of make sure my foot will ride and I can tuck the end under. You could use a stiletto or the end of a seam ripper if you wanted to try to keep those under but I found that even just the the letting the presser foot bump up a little bit allows me to get it underneath. I want to reinforce this so I'm going to go back against that whole row of pleats that I just came around Carefully going backward, trying to hit the... And then come back down to the corner, stopping an eighth of an inch before the edge there, and coming across. get to the corner and because I only came down this first seam or the first set of pleats one time I'm going to finish up there and then cut my threads. And there we are. So edge stitching across the top and the bottom, two or three rows of stitching on over each of the pleats, and we're finished. The opening that we turned it through was closed by using the edge stitching, so that's all taken care of, and your mask is finished. Well, hopefully you've picked up some tips on how to make masks, even the way I've done it. There are many ways to do it, though, and others have come up with ways that are just as functional. The most important part is just that we're making them. So um, 
I hope you enjoyed it, and we will be posting more videos like this in the days and weeks to come, so look forward to that. But also, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to go to AnnArborSewingCenter.com, join our Facebook page, um, or you can email us at AnnArborSewing at AnnArborSewing.com. Thanks for watching.